everybody. This is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. I am on Far Sky for another video. And the reason I'm doing this video is I've uh, been playing this game for hours. And I think I finally have mastered this game on what you need to do to be successful in the campaign, the story mode. Uh, my voice may sound a little different because I got a little bit of a chest cold. So we'll see how this turns out. But let's... Uh, Let's go check out Old Shake's base. I want to show you guys the incredible stuff you can do on this game. This is due to come out at the end of April. I think like the 24th or something like that. But let's head in here. And I'm going to first tell you about a couple things. You see these harpoon guns? These harpoon guns are beastly. All right. So, oh, hell. Uh, as you can see, Shake's been pretty busy. Uh, building my base. Now, my last base got destroyed by the Kraken. But uh, I guarantee you it will not happen in this base. They've attempted to take out my base. But you see this whole uh, just circle of these, what, what do they call these things? Harpoon guns. I have them around my whole base. So when any type of predator comes in this area, like this, watch. Just watch what happens. This is hilarious. I mean, it is one hell of... Watch this, watch this, look at this. Watch, watch all these, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them in the video, but these harpoon guns will lock on to uh, predators that you're shooting at. And just, I mean, it's all just, it's ugly. I love the whales going by. Here comes another whale. Oh, no, another sh uh, barracuda. So, I'm going to show you my base. I have the sub here. And I've not gone to the surface, so not only am I going to show you my base and kind of rave about this game because I'm loving it, uh, but also uh, you're going to join me on breaching the surface, which I've not done yet. So this will be a first. All right, let's get up here. Head into Shake's base. Now, one thing I really learned in this game is to compartmentalize your base. To, to, so if it starts to fill up with water, everything's sealed off by these doors. Here's my farm. You definitely gonna want to have a farm. Uh, this will sustain you. These are all carrots. And just here's like a little dining room area. It'd be nice when they uh, if they add some more props to this game. And over here, another little kind of lounge area people can hang out. Not that there's any other people on here with me, but it's just fun to do that. And then let's head upstairs here. And what? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, what do we have here? Let's go this way. Oh, this is where my sub is down here. I kind of tried to make a place where I could bring my sub in here, but uh, it won't let you get the sub that close to the building. Where's my other stairs at? Oh, through here. Okay. This up here, it just keeps going up forever. Hold on a second here. What's over here? I forgot. Just kind of an observation deck up high up here. I kind of like that. And one more to the eagle's nest up here. This is like way up here looking out. I just, I just having fun with it, building stuff. So pretty cool. So you can build to your heart's content as long as you have the resources to do it. And once you get extractors out into the game, out into the ocean there, it's pretty easy to... Uh, gather resources. Oh, let me go back up and show you the rest of my place. That wasn't all of it. Okay, here we go. So, this is like the main core. This is like all these chests are just filled with all kinds of resources. I mean, I've gathered so much stuff, which you want to do first in this game. I mean, these ovens, I got them cooking all kinds of goodies for me. You definitely want to have <coughs> sorry, plenty of food. Uh, to eat or you will starve. I think that's it for now. Work tables and then just a little room off here. Another little area to sit and look out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's my base. And I really focused on first on fortifying this thing so that when the Kraken come out, the octopus, uh, they're not able to take out this base. And they did come at some point. But all of those harpoon turrets uh, just took them all out. Awesome, man. Love this game. 
uh, pull up the map, you can see I've explored quite a bit of area. Um, and you have to upgrade your dive gear. Oh, shoot, I'm hungry. Hold on, guys. You have to upgrade your dive gear so you can go down to deeper uh, areas. If you don't, you're basically your helmet will implode. And now one thing you see, I've got two of these uh, underwater scooters. I have found that when one runs out, uh oh, hold on, I switch to another one. I've gotten pretty good with this harpoon gun. When it gets dark, more sharks and barracuda come out and other creatures. You know what I should do before I bust to the surface is, why don't I take you down to the depths? And, and it's really freaky in this game, for, at least for me. Ah, uh, hell. Come to daddy. Chunk of meat. It's hard for me to stop hunting. When I'm uh, Even when I'm making a video, it's just fun. Nice music, kind of like, almost kind of like a bluesy, jazzy kind of riffs that go on. <coughs> Sorry about that, man. Got some barracuda coming by. Maybe I'll show you some more of, uh, get some blood in the water here. Yeah, there it goes to the abyss. So let me, I'm going to take you down to the depths. I have another home, actually, another base. Let's do this. When you start doing this, though, man, especially when you first do it, it is pretty freaky because you're thinking, oh, man, how am I going to get back? You know, I only have so much air. And I'm constantly checking the map because uh, it's so easy to get misorientated down here under the water and then you run out of air and then you die and you lose your stuff unless you can go back and retrieve it. And what I do now is I switch to another one. And here's my other base that I built. Just a little area to get some air, basically. And to cook some food if I wanted to. That's basically it. Let's pull up our map. Because I want to take you to the, to the depths. Hold on one second here. Eat a carrot. All right, let's... Uh, Let's head out to the abyss. And with each level that you drop, the environment changes. And when I first dropped into the deeper levels, I gotta be honest, man, it was it kind of freaked me out because one thing I saw was the Kraken. And don't get confused, it's not like the Kraken from uh, the, the movies, which I thought it might be. It's the squid, but don't be fooled. These guys will take you out. So this is like, there they are, right? There's one. And what I found is they won't mess with you as long as you're not... Oh, jeez. As long as you don't take this certain mineral. If you touch this mineral... Let me get this gold while I'm down here. Nice. Then they will come after you, and they will try to destroy your base. Now, I think I'm pretty safe to come in here and get some gold. Which, you know, fame... Oh, famous last words will be, I'm sure. So while we're here, let's get some gold. I'm going to go ahead and drill. Hopefully all hell doesn't break loose. There, got a little gold. Let's get our bandages back. We need those. All right, let's head back to that. So that's that's the the deep. Now there's there's that stuff they're protecting. I'm not going near it. It's this blue stone. And again, you really have to watch your map when you're doing this because again, it's so easy to get lost underwater. This is just, and this is the alpha. I am really excited to play the full version of this game. All right, quick pit stop at uh, my little house here, my little base, so we can get some air again. Check out the jellies coming after me here. Trying to sting me, look at that. Eat a carrot. All right, 
and let's uh, pull up our map, make sure we're heading in the right direction before we... Yeah, we are. Here we go. Off we go. Man. This is pretty cool. Alright, switch into my other one, just like that. And there's shake space lights to guide me in. Alright, okay, so enough of that. Just wanted to show you guys just a sample of what you can do in this game. And uh, But you really have to think it through so you don't lose the base and so you don't lose your stuff. So let's do it without further ado. Let's break the surface. Here we go, my first time doing this. All right, here we go. Heading up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this right here. Oh, yeah, surface. I made it! <laughs> yeah, I love it. That is awesome. Time to go back home. Now, I wonder if this means I can't go back to my beautiful base down there. I unlocked... So this is, again, Far Sky. Check it out. I'll put the links below. Fantastic indie game coming out at the end of April. If you like these uh, survival, building stuff, all of that fun stuff, check this out. In a very unique setting... You really, really feel like you're under the ocean, and there's always that sense of tension uh, that you may run out of oxygen. So, cheers. That's Shake and Bake from WW Shakes Pub. Peace.